You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may May allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting live from the RWB Network Studios in New York City, this is the Rhino Report. Always right. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. We are going to raise taxes on the middle class. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. USA! 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 Fellow Americans, let's roll. And now. 
Here's your host, the Rhino. New Jeffertown. Hey, hello, hello, hello. I am the Rhino, and this is my report. Today, Wednesday, February 1st. 2017, and we're coming to you from the RWB Network Studios here in New York and live on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Are you the type of person who complains when the price of a product you routinely purchase goes up? Maybe you speak to a manager or write some strongly worded letter to some faraway corporate office. If so, I get it. It becomes a new burden on your wallet, but would you call the cops? Seems extreme, right? Well, not for one woman in Australia's Northern Territory. She got so mad about a price hike that she called the police. And the local authorities were happy to help out. That's because she was complaining that her drug dealer raised the price of her marijuana. She hung up once she realized she outed herself. The police said in a social media post they were happy to help. It's worth noting that marijuana is illegal in all of Australia. All right, let's get to today's headlines. First, speaking of being high, conservatives across the country are on cloud nine today after President Trump revealed his pick to fill Justice Scalia's spot on the Supreme Court. Democrats, on the other hand, not handling their high so well as a wave of paranoia has set in and they're beginning to babble incoherently. Also, with seven Democrat U.S. senators unwilling to support tearful Chuck Schumer's planned filibuster, will Mitch McConnell actually have to use that dreaded nuclear option to confirm Neil Gorsuch to the bench? Or could the Trump effect in these seven Democrat home states be enough to piece together 60 Senate votes? And within minutes of President Trump's Supreme Court announcement, conservative groups began singing the praises of Neil Gorsuch from the NRA to pro-life nonprofits. We have their statements along with those from some groups on the left that immediately wet their pants upon hearing the announcement. We have all that, plus comedian Amy Schumer comes to the defense of her second cousin. One godlike Hollywood actor may be changing their mind about President Trump, And we have some before and after polls that sum up how America feels about President Trump just uh, just 12 days into his term. We have a lot to get to today, but first, let's kick the show off the same way we always do, with a salute to our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the Kids got their act together today saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Check out rhinoreport.com for articles, sign up for the newsletter, and you can email me, rhino, R-Y-N-O, at rwbnetwork.com. We'll be right back. Hi, friends. This is Larry Minetti. Go to larryminetti.com to get my book, Aloha Magnum. You'll read all about the wonderful guest stars like Carol Burnett, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and many, many more. Also, there is an episode guide and my favorite recipes that I really cook at home. I will include a free signed photo with every book. Get Aloha Magnum at LarryManetti.com. Order now. Aloha. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. Guys, welcome back to this hump day edition of the Rhino Report. Big shout outs to everyone, as usual, listening on Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Feed, also streaming talkradio.com, klrnradio.com, and of course, everybody on crntalk.com, that's CRN Channel 1, 2 p.m. Eastern, as if you didn't know, and you got to download that app too. CRN app, 
Google Play, Apple iTunes, whatever store you have on that little computer in your pocket, just take it out, download the CRN app, and we'll be in your pocket too. Wherever you go, I'll be in your pocket. That's comforting, isn't it? Also, Western Free Press, we're on their, their streaming radio feed there. Very cool to be there. This, uh, this intro story, you know what? I mean, why not call the cops? Why not? Somebody raised the price of your marijuana? Call the cops. The cops willing and happy to help out. They actually put out a post. This is very funny. It says, a woman called the police to complain about a, the price of marijuana in her community, reporting that her local drug dealer had asked for more money than usual. Completely offended, the woman demanded that police investigate this outrageous price hike. When asked for further details, the woman hung up. If you know a drug dealer who's ripping you off, give us a call. We'd love to help. That's the social media post. See, social media does a lot of bad things. I mean, it, it's really, really terrible. It shows you just how dumb the average person is. But police are getting pretty good at using it. For a long time, a lot of police departments, they shied away from it. Eh, what is this kind of, you know, this magic stuff? What is it's, you know, it's new fandangled technology. We're not going to use it. But a lot of them are now using it. And apparently this police department in the Northern Territory of Australia, they're using it quite effectively. This has got 15,000 shares. Are there 15,000 people in the Northern Territory of Australia? I, I mean, I guess. I've never been there. They probably wouldn't let me in. No, they have extreme vetting in Australia. You know what they do? They get a boat of refugees or some, some UN ship pulls up to one of their ports. They turn that sucker around. They don't care who's on it. They airlift a few ham sandwiches and some cartons of government juice, and they turn the boat around. You can't even dock nothing. They intercede you, and they say, find somewhere else to go. And then that boat generally finds its way to Miami or L.A. or San Diego or something like that. And, and of course, we let them in for years, in specific, the last eight years. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. No problem. Not Australia. They probably would just tell me, you know what? Come here for a vacation, spend your money, and then get the flip out. That's what they would say to me, and I get it. I don't want to invade their country. I certainly don't want to drive up the price of marijuana. So, <laughs> Australia, they're pretty funny. I like the accents, though. I do like their accents. A little bit more pleasing than mine, I guess. All right, so uh, Amy Schumer, we'll get to the... The, the Judge Gorsuch stuff. I know. We, we got to talk about it. I get it. It's a big echo chamber today, and we're going to talk about it, but we're going to get there. We're going to ease into it because we have some things to clear up, one of these being Chuck Schumer, the crybaby. The cry... You guys, you got to remember this clip, right? You remember this. This executive order... ...was, was mean-spirited and un-American. Mean spirit, un American. Is this guy for real? So, Amy Schumer, who is his second cousin on her father's side, I mean, I guess that's still family. It's as close as anyone wants to be to a family member of a Democrat. But, second cousin, father's side, she comes out and she goes, I know Chuck Schumer and he cannot act. Trust me. Trust me. Hollywood would love for you to trust them. They, they even tell you in their social media posts, trust me, this was on Instagram or something. He can barely smile on cue. He can't help but be a transparent and genuine. He was hurt for those people. And all the people facing such unconstitutional injustice. This is from Amy Schumer. I think she's trying to act. I know she's sort of a comedian and relatively funny sometimes, but I don't know anymore. Because as soon as these people spout off, I turn it off. I don't care. I don't care if Amy Schumer is going to Instagram tomorrow's winning lottery numbers. I'm still not going to follow her. And I'm still not going to listen to her. And I'd love to know. Amy Schumer, I'd love to know. Unconstitutional injustice. Of course, she's referring to the travel ban. Or as mainstream media is calling it, the Muslim ban. Please. Please, point out. Point out where it says in the Constitution 
that that the president cannot look out for the best interest, safety, and security of our country. I mean, you're so smart. You're from Hollywood. You have to be smart. You know, these comedians, they try to... They try their hardest to become mainstream Hollywood. They all want to be the next Jerry Seinfeld, the next Kevin James, the next, the next comedian, maybe Louis C.K., somebody who gets their own show. And the only way you do it is by being ultra loony left. There is the ban in Hollywood. We know if you're conservative, if you're Republican, if you're a friend of Abe's, it's like that secret club for the Republicans. In Hollywood, a friend of Abe, they don't want to hire you. I mean, unless you have some long track record of success. Take someone like Tim Allen. He's on that Last Man Standing show on ABC. The only show on ABC I'll, I'll watch. But he's there. The guy's not a big liberal. In fact, he makes, he makes fun of Democrats almost every single show. But people tune in because it's him. So they have to hire him. They have to pay him what he wants. He's a big star. But most of these comedians, they try really hard to be as far left as possible. I was watching on demand the roast battle. All in all, pretty funny. It's this, uh, it's, it's a competition where you get a bunch of comedians. Some of them are maybe second tier comedians. Most of them you never heard of before. And they face off against each other in this like insult contest. And it's hosted by Jeff Ross, of course, the Roast Master General. You guys know him from all the different roasts that they do. And most of this, most of this stuff was so anti-Trump, anti-conservative, anti-white that I almost turned it off. It's supposed to be fun and lighthearted, and it just didn't come off that way. And, of course, the finals were held in L.A., so the crowd very, very pro-Hillary, pro-Bernie, any. That's what I've said. Take your 55 electoral votes and get getting. I'll help you pack them. I'll pack the votes for you. And you can saw yourself off at the San Andreas or whatever you want to do and float out to sea. I'm okay with it. At first, I was like, you know what? We shouldn't want the breakup of our union. But if this is the way it's going, we read that article yesterday, Daily Caller, between L.A. and New York City. That's where Hillary Clinton picked up her 3 million votes, if you believe it was that many. About 1.5 million in each place. But why do these comedians, these Hollywood types, the SAG Awards, I can't wait for the Oscars. That's going to be, that's going to be a nightmare. You think we'll get a speech from Ashton Kutcher about foreign policy? Can't wait for that. Can't wait. We all got punked that night. That's for sure. All right, we're done talking about these dopes. When we move on, we're going to talk about more dopes, like CNN and Democrats that are going to oppose the Supreme Court pick, and Donald Trump looking pretty good on his contract with the American voter. We can check off one more last night. We'll go over that. Guys, do not go anywhere. You're listening to The Final Report, part of the RWB Network. Hey, guys. Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up, because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here, and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch... 
Remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you have severe knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, we have great news. Finally, there's a way to reduce your pain without surgery or taking medications. Call us today and learn how you can qualify to get a pain-relieving knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. We'll even ship your brace for free. If you have excruciating knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving, nearly invisible knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. I've used one. They're comfortable and they work and we guarantee your happiness. So call right now and get yours. I promise we're here to take your call. Thank you. 800-290-0759. 800-290-0759. That's 800-290-0759. All right, guys, welcome back to this Wednesday edition of the Rhino Report. Check out all the old episodes, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, and iHeartRadio, or rhinoreport.com. That's rhinoreport.com. They're all right there, too, on the listen page. you got to check that out. You know, during the break... Something behind me fell. I'm the only one in the studio, so I whipped around because I heard this noise, and I thought maybe, maybe it was the DNC coming in here to shut me up. That's what I thought was happening. I have to fight my way out of this one. I, I still don't know. I have no clue what it was. I have no idea. Maybe they're hiding behind the file cabinet. Uh, maybe they're hiding behind the server, right? Missed that joke. Anyway, um, so... Going back to these these comedians, you know, just tell jokes, funny man. Just tell jokes. That's what you do. We don't need the political spiel from these people on this roast battle, all this different stuff. I, I remember the, the roast over the summertime. I forget who it was being roasted. And Ann Coulter was there. And she was received. They received her like she had leprosy. They were booing her, and she didn't play along real nice. I mean, she she did what she kind of had to do. She went in there knowing she was going to have to fight. But just tell jokes. Tell jokes. Tell jokes about Obama. Tell jokes about Trump. That's fine. But why do you got to make it political? They made it very, very political and actually somewhat unpleasant to watch. Now, Jeff Ross also did a special over the summertime where he shadowed cops in, I believe it was Boston. Baston. I said it wrong, Bastin. And he was in a car with a few of them, and he was talking to people on the street, and then he did a little uh, stand-up routine, and he went over his his uh, days with the department uh, in front of some other department officials and people who were invited to hear him speak. And he was trying to figure out whether or not cops were getting a bad rap. Again, this is over the summertime. It may, it may even have been before the convention, maybe late spring. And... He kind of came away with that cops aren't all bad, but there are some bad ones. That was the the takeaway at the end of this two-hour special. And you know what? Just just take a side, because I believe Jeff Ross doesn't really like cops, to be honest with you. I don't think he does, and that's fine. He can have that opinion. I believe he's wrong. But the comedians, if you're going to try and make a statement, at least put some, some effort into it. They just call themselves activists. They had the, the Sarah Silverman on there, whatever her name is. And they, they announced her as an activist. She picked Bernie Sanders, and then she picked Hillary Clinton. All she does is pick losers. Don't bring her to Vegas with you. All right, we're done with the comedians. Done with them. Uh, before the show, I was watching the, the Daily Press briefing, and Sean Spicer doing a good job. He now has the... Um, the Skype people coming in and asking questions. That's interesting. I'm a little surprised uh, the Obama administration didn't think of that first, Uh, but Donald Trump, an expert marketer, they have the Skype questions, and during the interview, 
they said the Trump administration is officially putting Iran on notice. And this is in reference to the ballistic missile test that they did a couple of days ago. In fact, I wanted to talk about it on this show, but, you know, things got in the way, as they generally do. What this missile did, they shot this missile up. It failed reentry. Uh, it went about 600 miles, but it is in violation of a U.N. A, a UN rule. They can't do it. Not allowed to do it. It's not actually, it's, people say it's attached to the nuclear agreement. It's not. It's a separate regulation that was passed through the U.N. after the nuclear deal. So it's not part of it. But they are still in violation of that rule. And now how we choose to respond, I don't know. You have people on the left and the right. They are both warmongers. It happens on both sides of the aisle. I don't know that we're in a position to start a war with Iran. I do believe that some sanctions should be levied, some snapback sanctions. Everything was lifted. We should get that money back, all the money we sent them, and snap back these sanctions ten times worse than they were before. That will get the point across. So we'll see. Iran officially on notice. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's talk about CNN. We'll put CNN on notice. We know what Donald Trump thinks of CNN. You are fake news. Yeah, they're fake news. And it seems like the Trump administration is freezing out CNN. If you haven't noticed, there have been no Trump surrogates on CNN since the middle of January. And they're not real happy about it. Sean Spicer says, you know what? We just choose not to call on them. We just choose not to deal with them. Every once in a while, they get a question. And, of course, all of this follows that interaction that Trump had with Jim Acosta when they had that debate about fake news. I don't know. CNN, they are going down in flames. Flames just like the Democrat Party. Going down in flames. All right. When we come back, I want to talk about the... Supreme Court pick. We have some interesting facts and figures for you. And are the Republicans in Congress itching to use the nuclear option? We'll talk about that. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resort, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kakui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon, enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel, Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York. Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. 
The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent on your plane reservation so call right now 800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644 What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Check out the old episodes, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, iHeartRadio, and, and you must follow me on Twitter. That is that is a definite, you have to do that, at Rhino, R-Y-N-O, on air. So Sean Spicer was speaking at George Washington University this week. And he was asked about the supposed CNN freeze-out. He says, I'm not going to sit around and engage with people who have no desire to actually get something right. You are fake news. Yeah, you're fake news. So CNN, they're going to complain. They're going to complain. They're going to piss and moan about not getting the surrogates. And once they get them on, they're going to hammer them with the other side and not believe what they say anyway. So, hey, keep freezing them out. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This is a new era. You have all the the Skype questions now during the briefing. You have uh, press releases. You have Sean Spicer has a good command of that podium. Very, very good. He learned very quickly how to do this job. And I think there's a, there's something of a learning curve generally with this. Uh, you, you had, uh, of course, Josh Ernest. He had to learn before. He sat there for like four weeks before he actually took the microphone. And, um, yeah, so he's doing a good job. Um, Republicans doing a good job on the Hill today. Orrin Hatch decides that, you know what, I'm tired of dealing with these Democrats just not wanting to work. They don't want to show up. You belong to a committee. Your job is to show up to that committee. You can't just no show and still get paid for it. Who's docking their pay for not showing up? You cannot hold a demonstration at your job. That's not what you get paid to do. You get paid to vote yes or vote no. It's very, very simple. They have perhaps the easiest job on the planet and they can't vote up or down. They just didn't show up. And then they show up afterwards. This was during the finance hearing. Because two days, Democrats boycotted the committee. They didn't want to vote. Of course, Steve Mnuchin as Treasury Secretary and Tom Price for Health and Human Services Secretary. They don't want to vote. They want to hold it all up so they don't show up. And the rule stated one Democrat has to be there or one person from the other party has to be there to hold the vote. So they go, well, we're just not going to vote. So Orrin Hatch, who was getting a little pissed off over the last few days, he says, screw it. You know what? We're going to change the rule and we're just going to vote because you're not doing your job. And then the Democrats show up afterwards to make a statement. So they don't go to work. They show up afterwards to make a statement. Now they're going to want to get paid overtime for being there late. Who's docking their pay? 
they are not representing. If they do not want to be part of that committee, then they should not have accepted the invitation. You vote up or down, and then it goes to the Senate for a full confirmation vote. This is how we do business. They are standing in the way thinking that they are standing in the way for the American people. We're defending the American people. No, you're defending Los Angeles and New York City. That's all you're defending. Rex Tillerson should get it today. He should be Secretary of State by day, day's end, I think. But when you have Orrin Hatch calling people idiots and they should be ashamed of themselves, you've done something wrong. Orrin Hatch is not an easy guy to tick off. But they did it. They did it. They just, there is nothing about what they're doing right now that shows that they are trying to work for the American people. What they're trying to do, and these are the Democrats, is they're trying to work for a very, very small portion of a very rabid little population. The ones who are showing up to airports, the ones who are the snowflakes. That's who they are trying to cater to because they know they have lost. They have lost most working women. They have lost just about every working man. They have to find votes somewhere. And their somewhere is going to be open borders and these fringe groups. They are becoming a fringe party. Now, I think there are people out there who are not really on board with this. Joe Manchin, probably one of them, of course, out of West Virginia. He's saying that we need to give Gorsuch a chance. We got to hear him out. He is not voting against Neil Gorsuch. Not happening. Of course, him being the SCOTUS pick from Donald Trump last night. West Virginia is going to go red with their next senator, The days of West Virginia Democrats being the ones who defend the coal miners are over. That was very evident. Hillary Clinton screwed that state for every Democrat to come by saying she wanted to put coal miners and coal companies out of business. She was the worst thing that could have happened to the Democrat Party. They do not see it. They are blind. Pelosi is blind. She wouldn't know what the American people wanted if it landed in her diapers. She would have no clue. Chuck Schumer, too. Harry Reid really messed up this party. Big time for them. And they're not even trying to fight their way out of the paper bag. They are just continuing down this road of obstruction and pandering to fringe groups. Fringe groups like the one in Portland, Oregon, where their leader was arrested for having sex with an underage boy, already a registered sex offender. Those types of fringe groups. Orrin Hatch takes the initiative because, you know what, you're not going to be here, we're going to vote. You have to give the president the cabinet he wanted because the American people are not dumb anymore. There is too much media, too many voices like mine out there on a very low level saying, listen, they're only saying the Republicans did nothing because the Democrats wouldn't let them have their staff. The Trump administration is operating on a skeleton staff right now. And he's still getting done 60 to 70 percent of what he promised he would do in the first 100 days. He's gotten it done in 12, 12 days. That's pretty effective. That's good leadership. Their heads are spinning. It is a bad time to be a liberal in this country. Me? I wake up every day doing the happy dance. Especially after hearing the SCOTUS pick, Neil Gorsuch. This guy is a class act. And this guy needs to get confirmed without using the nuclear option. Because that can come back to haunt you. We're seeing it haunt the Democrats right now. We have to learn from their mistakes because they make an awful lot of them. When we come back, we'll talk about Neil Gorsuch, his background, what people are saying about him. And then later on, I have a couple of polls for you. It's not even Thursday, but you don't want to miss these because it shows a trend that I think we're all seeing 
Well, all of us except for mainstream media, that is. Hey guys, Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your healthcare has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855 585 4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you have severe knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, we have great news. Finally, there's a way to reduce your pain without surgery or taking medications. Call us today and learn how you can qualify to get a pain-relieving knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. We'll even ship your brace for free. If you have excruciating knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving, nearly invisible knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. I've used one. They're comfortable and they work and we guarantee your happiness. So call right now and get yours. I promise we're here to take your call. Thank you. 800-290-0759. 800-290-0759. That's 800-290-0759. Alright guys, welcome back to this Wednesday edition hump day of the Rhino Report. Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Lots to go over in addition to the Supreme Court stuff. I get it, that's what everybody's talking about because we're happy. We're happy people right now. This is a good pick. Very, very solid. Something good finally came out of Colorado. Good, solid pick. Donald Trump doing what he said he would do. The one up, two down rule, the executive order, every new federal re- regulation, you're going to get rid of two. Section one, part three of the contract with the American voter for Donald Trump's first 100 days, of course, put out prior to the election. A ban on lobbying, five years and lifetime on White House officials. Section one, parts four, five and six of the contract with America. A 120-day suspension from the refugee program, 90-day travel ban from people coming from places like Iraq, Iran, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Sudan, Section 3, Part 5 of Donald Trump's contract with America. Getting the funding for the border wall. That's part of his Illegal Immigration Act on page 2. A memorandum calling for a 30-day review of military readiness. That's also in the contract with America. Keystone Pipeline, Dakota Access, Section 2, Parts 5 and 6 of the contract. Lots of stuff here. TPP. We're not down with TPP. That was in Section 2, Part 2 of the contract. Getting rid of regulatory burdens as it relates to Obamacare. That, of course, in the Repeal and Replace Obamacare Act, page 2 of the contract with the American voter. And now... Right now, Section 3, Part 2, begin the process of selecting a replacement for Justice Scalia from one of the 20 judges on my list who will uphold and defend the U.S. Constitution. He's checking these boxes off. It's Day 12. Day 12, a president doing something. Judge Gorsuch, this guy has, he's got quite a resume. Columbia, Harvard, Oxford. He ruled in favor of Hobby Lobby. Little Sisters of the Poor, when they were challenging the contraception mandate in Obamacare. He's from Denver. We can't hold that against him. From Denver, he was an adjunct professor at the University of Colorado, ultra-liberal. But even people who were his students, they say they have. he's very ethical. He's very smart. 
I have nothing but the utmost confidence in his ability to handle attention put on him. He's a phenomenal guy and just a brilliant. I think he'd be a gift in some ways if we got him nominated. That's Savannah Schaefer, a CU law graduate. These are people that know him. Democrats are being obstinate for being obstinate, simply for that sake. They don't care about a good judge. They're being obstinate because they didn't get their way. Merrick Garland, boo-hoo-hoo. Merrick Garland didn't get confirmed during a primary period. Why didn't you guys do it? Well, they're trying to do the same thing. Now, there are reportedly seven senators who are not going to be wholly on board with the filibuster that Chuck Schumer is planning. You have a few. You have Heidi Heitkamp out of North Dakota. She's on thin ice. Going to be on thin ice in two years. Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut, could be on thin ice. Chris Coons, Delaware, could be on thin ice. Claire McCaskill out of Missouri, she might as well resign. Because if she's running against former NASCAR star Carl Edwards, she's donezo. John Tester out of Montana. Dick Durbin out of Illinois, I think he'll get reelected. But he's not wholly on board with, with a filibuster. Tim Kaine, he hasn't said it, but he should watch it. You have Laura Ingram. She's going to run against him in Virginia. They are going to use this against them. These, What the Democrats don't realize, whether they choose to or not, is part of the election, part of the reason Donald Trump won like 85% of the counties in this country was because people wanted an originalist, a textualist, they're calling it, on the Supreme Court. Somebody who's going to read the Constitution and follow it, not interpret it and view it as a living and breathing document. How many times did you hear that indoctrination crap when you were in school? It's living and breathing. No, it's not. It's a framework. It's actually in black and white. That's how it's written, black and white. And that's what Neil Gorsuch will be. People are saying he is the perfect replacement for Justice Scalia. Still not quite sure where he stands on right to life. I know the right to life groups are very happy. They believe he is right to life. He has not had to make a decision in that capacity, though. He has not. He's, he's made a few decisions and a few articles when it comes to assisted suicide, and he's against that. So they're assuming he's right to life. But lots of people, real happy. We got a, a judicial watch. They're thrilled. President Trump's nomination of Judge Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court is a major step in the right direction in defining his presidency and moving the Supreme Court away from dangerous and destructive judicial activism. American Life League, we firmly believe that he will be a fitting person to fill the seat of formerly occupied by Justice Antonin Scalia. The praises keep coming. Susan B. Anthony List, in nominating Judge Gorsuch, President Trump has kept his promise to nominate only pro-life judges to the Supreme Court. Again, we'll see about that. They also say in the coming days we'll mobilize a pro-life grassroots nationwide and in key Senate battleground states to urge the Senate to swiftly confirm Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. That means they're going to run an ad campaign. That's what that means. Americans for Prosperity, they're for it. National Rifle Association, finally someone who will stand up for the Second Amendment. We're going to keep talking about this when we come back. Plus, we got a couple of polls to go over, and one Hollywood actor, their tune might be changing as it refers to Donald Trump. Hang in there, guys. You're listening to The Rhino Report. You're experiencing pain, back pain, shoulder, elbow, or hand pain, pain from a sports injury. If so, schedule a visit with Dr. Michael Schutz, the leading expert in laser therapy for pain management. Call 310-873-4422 or go to drsheps.com. Experience Epic-T, the breakthrough laser therapy system that Dr. Sheps developed to make you pain-free in less time. Laser therapy is a non-invasive, safe, and effective in-office procedure that penetrates deep into your skin without damaging the tissue. It perfectly targets areas of pain to promote fast, natural healing. Relax your muscles. Ease muscles.
muscle spasms, joint stiffness, and arthritis pain while increasing blood circulation. For over 25 years, Dr. Sheps has helped Olympic athletes and sports enthusiasts alike get back in the game. Schedule your visit with Dr. Sheps at his Brentwood office in California. Call 310-873-4422 or visit drsheps.com. That's drsheps.com, 310-873-4422. This is Larry Minetti for Herpanison, the acne medication that really works from the inside out. If you suffer from skin problems, Herpanison is the most unique and effective formula on the market. It cleans your skin from the inside out and gets rid of all kinds of acne and blemishes on your back, neck, and your face. It works so well, you can look and feel like a movie star. Herpanison, a natural supplement created by Dr. Wayne Diamond. You take a pill, and that's it. I've been on these supplements, and they really work, folks. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror ever again. Get Herpanison today. Call 888-467-4200. That's 888-467-4200. Herpanison, it really works. 888-467-4200. Tell them Larry Minetti told you to call and look and feel like a million bucks with Herpanison. Call 888-467-4200. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for our sizzling party savings. Book your wedding event or reception, your birthday bash, or a special event of any kind and celebrate at Angelo's and Vinci's. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate in one of our many festive banquet rooms. It's an incredible fun event you'll never forget. Food, music, and lots of fun. Call for the details and don't forget our daily lunch and dinners plus our Sunday champagne brunch. Just $14.95. Minestrone soup, sausage and peppers, pastas, chicken dishes, salads, scones and muffins. Plus so much more, a chocolate fondue fountain, Zeppelis, cannolis, fresh fruit, champagne, and Junior will be waiting to make the omelet of your choice from our omelet bar. Angela's and Vinci's has been voted on the Orange County Hot List as one of the top five Italian restaurants for the past six years. And don't forget our award-winning pizzas. Thin or thick, they're yummy. It's all at Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. All right, guys, welcome back to this last segment of today's Wednesday edition of the Rhino Report. We have a lot to squeeze in here in the last couple of minutes. So in 2016, Neil Gorsuch wrote in a uh, a law review article, quote, judges should be in the business of declaring what the law is using the traditional tools of interpretation rather than pronouncing the laws as they might wish it to be in light of their own political views. Now that flies in the face of what Judge Ann Donnelly did in Brooklyn last weekend, ruling against Donald Trump's executive order. Nothing unconstitutional about it. In fact, they knew such because when Sally Yates wrote her little diatribe there, nothing, there was no legal argument in there. I don't like this. I'm not going to tell my attorneys to follow it. Go away. She just wanted to get out. She wanted to get out. Pack your Adam's apple and get out. Now, the left, the gnarl, not real happy. He represents an existential threat to legal abortion in the United States and must never wear the robes of the Supreme Court. You have uh, Planned Parenthood. Donald Trump's nominee, Neil Gorsuch, has an alarming history of interfering with reproductive rights and health. He ruled that bosses should be able to deny women access to birth control coverage. They're not happy because their reign of terror is over. Planned Parenthood is about to lose a lot of funding, and a lot of people are okay with that. A lot of people are okay with it. But this is a good day. If you're a conservative, you are happy today. This is why, if even you were a never-Trumper, why you just sort of held your nose and voted for Donald Trump, this is why. Because of today. Because of the announcement last night. And I know you're happy. I know you're happy. Because I know never-Trumpers who don't like what Donald Trump does, they're very happy. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Um, This is interesting. This is the poll. I know we haven't done polls in a while. This was conducted by The Economist and YouGov. January 18th of 2017, Obama's still the president, okay? Two more days left in his term. This is direction of the country, 2361 wrong track, a net negative 38. Now, today, Donald Trump is the president, direction of the country, same, economist and YouGov, 
35-52. Wrong track. A net negative 17. He picked up quite a bit of room. From net negative 38 to net negative 17, don't believe the protesters. This is telling you, with everything that has happened in the last 12 days, he's still picking up lots and lots. 21 points. I mean, this is crazy. 123.17, Rasmussen poll, direction of country. 38.54, wrong direction. Okay, so that's 16, ne net negative 16. 130, January 30th, 2017. Seven days later, direction of country, it's a tie, 47-47. Also, job approval. Plus six from Rasmussen, plus two from The Economist and YouGov. And that was today. People are warming up to Donald Trump. They're liking what he's doing. They're liking the fact whether or not they voted for him, he's doing what he said he would do. That's showing up in the polls. Wrong direction, negative 38 in Obama's last two days. He's got to be seething right now. That's okay. He's enjoying his vacation. Has the Obama Foundation now. Raising money, go figure. Hope he doesn't keep his information on a private server somewhere. Last thing, Morgan Freeman, he says, I'm holding out hope that Donald Trump has to be a good president. He can't not be. What I see is a guy who will not lose. This is from Morgan Freeman, the first Hollywood defector, perhaps. He's seeing what we all saw. Guys, hope you had a good time today. A big thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad. And a huge thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for all the hard work. We all depend on you. Please stay safe. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. And until tomorrow, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out. <laughs>